Hi friends! Thank you for joining me tonight for another bedtime story with Miss Cat. And tonight we're going to be reading Time for Bed Miyuki, which is by Roxanne Marie Gaiz and Sang Su Ratanavana. And a fun fact, both the author and illustrator, the person who did the pictures, are both from France. All right. Time for bed, Miyuki. Ooh, that's a fancy, that's called a kimono. That's very fancy. Do you think you'd go to sleep in that or would you wear some pajamas? I think pajamas are comfier. All right. Ooh, this is really cool. Let's see. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest, ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? Let's see. I don't see Miyuki. I do see a little shoe, though. So I don't know if that's Miyuki's shoe. Let's find out. There she is. Miyuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. Grandfather is trying to get her to go to bed. I think there's Grandfather. Miyuki, it's time for bed. Not yet, Grandfather. Look, the sun hasn't set yet. What do you have to do that cannot wait until tomorrow? Miyuki asked Grandfather. Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the Dragonfly Queen, said Miyuki. She chose our garden to visit tomorrow, and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court? Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor her here? Under the cherry tree? asked Miyuki politely. All right, my Miyuki, and then it's time for bed. So Grandfather helped Miyuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Miyuki, it's time for bed. But Grandfather, I must water my vegetables. Water your vegetables, and then it's time for bed. Miyuki watered her carrots, her turnips, radishes, and anything else she could reach. How many times did Miyuki go back from the well to the garden? Even Grandfather lost count. All right. Do you ever water some plants at your house? I only have indoor plants, but I also make sure that those are watered. Yeah. All right. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bed. Grandfather, I cannot sleep now, Miyuki said. I must gather the whole snail family together. If they are not to gather together, I will not be able to sleep. So, Grandfather helped Miyuki look for the snails and lead them all home. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done that. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. It's time for bed. But Grandfather, I can't sleep now. It's a cold night, and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. Patiently, Grandfather waited as Miyuki covered their cat in a warm blanket. That looks like a pretty cozy cat. Do you like to have a warm blanket on a cold night? I think one, that's one of the best feelings. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is made. Your, garden, your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, Grandfather, we must dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for shining so nicely. So Grandfather and Miyuki decided to dance. And then Miyuki yawned. There you go. All right, 
Miyuki yawned. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. We dance the last dance of the day. It's time for bed, Grandfather said wearily. Miyuki's eyes were growing heavy. But there was still work to be done. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair. And what will the stars say if I am not in my best pajamas when they visit me? So, Grandfather prepared Miyuki's bath, brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. Then Miyuki yawned again. <sighs> and Grandfather yawned too. <gasps> It's fun to yawn like a grandpa. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. The vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. Your cat is covered. We dance the last dance of the day. You're bathed and brushed and dressed. It's time for bed. This time, Miyuki did not argue. She took grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather tucked Miyuki into bed and kissed her forehead. Grandfather, Miyuki whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Miyuki, I haven't forgotten. I will tell you a story. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. What kind of bed is she in? It looks like she's sleeping in a shoe. With the rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale preps her nest, ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? Fallen asleep. Okay, we should whisper really quiet and close the book super soft. <gasps> Good night, Miyuki. Oh, okay. All right, thank you for joining me for another story time, and I hope to see you next time. All right. Good night.